Hey, what is up, guys? So today I'm going to compare iOS 10.2 Beta 1 and Beta 2. So in iOS iPhone 6s here, I got Beta 1, and the iPhone 7 here, I got Beta 2. So we'll just uh, do a booting test, uh, open a few apps, and run a Geekbench, and I will show you uh, what is the new uh, features and everything. So let's go start it, guys. So guys, let's go booting test. One, two, three. We'll see which one is faster. I know iPhone 7 is, but just say uh, compared to iOS 10.2 beta 1 and beta 2. So iPhone 7 doing something. Oh my god, look at that. iPhone 6s is booted faster than the iPhone 7 here. So let me show you what I'm running so as you can see oh. as you can see I didn't upload up updated to beta 2 here iPhone 6s about so guys look at that both of them running same but the difference is the iPhone 6s running beta 1 and this guy is running beta 2 I uploaded this one so let me show you after I up before I updated I got a like uh, so as you can see the storage uh, 17.92 here and after I upload it it's 17.97 it's a little bit up just like a fraction of it the file is not that big so as you can see beta 2 the file is 156.3 megabytes so it's not that big file anymore uh, files so you can just download it from the beta pro program so let's go uh, do some app opening so I guess same Wi-Fi and everything is same so let's open the app store here one two three so uh, as you can see, it's like a kind of slightly faster iPhone 6s here. It's boot up so fast. So let's open the iTunes one, two, three. As you can see, the iTunes is faster than the iPhone 7 as well. So what's new, guys? So the new app is a TV app. I downloaded in my other phone, but Unfortunately, I didn't get the TV app on other phone, and I'm just lucky. Okay, I guess I just got this in the iPhone. I just uploaded. And I just got the new TV app in my other iPhone. I didn't. I didn't get the TV app. So, so let me show you the TV app. It looked like just like this. You can download the, all the media's and you can watch it from here. And also we got uh, some new feature. If you go to setting and just scroll down, you will see the TV production app. Then a kind of application. You can just sign up from here. All the application. And we have uh, some new feature also. It called uh, emergency SOS feature. If you go to setting in general, you will see right there the tab. So if I tap the home button five times, it will go into loud. So one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, just like that. So guys, if you're thinking, what about the bypass we do? So they patch the bypass. We cannot do any more now. So. As you can see, I have it beta 2 here. Let's go in the same. Pick the alarm, sound, pick song, search it. So as you can see, select both of them. And 
here you can see she shared it but here you cannot see it so it's gone now guys you cannot do bypass um, you will not do any more bypass the screen now it's gone now in our beta 2 version so let's run the geekbench score we'll see what we get so i'm going to run geekbench 3 guys so let's go focus we want to three the iPhone 6s is kind of faster than the iPhone 7 here as you can see it's about to finish it the iPhone here is kind of stuck over there guys this is iOS 10 versus iOS 9 here but iOS 9 is kind of winner here as you can see it beat the iPhone 7 here let me show you that I just did last time I mean, yesterday uh, November 8 look at that yesterday I did it but it beat iPhone 6s but today it's kind of changed let me do it again or oh, let me try another app Geekbench 4 so run it guys this it will take some time so it's kind of running So, so guys, as you can see, iPhone 6s it finished faster. iPhone 7 is still here. It's doing just loading here. As you can see, 4,118 multi-core and single core, 2,487. And still, iPhone 7 is uh, processing here okay that is the kind of big bench score look at that the iphone 7 here is 2895 1786 multi uh, single core so guys there you have it subscribe subscribe to my channel like and share my video i'll catch you next one peace out